My name's Taylor Gibbler with Mammoth Overland. For the last weekend, we've been up here exploring the Olympic Mountains. Behind me is the Mammoth Overland Ellie trailer. This is their extinction level event trailer. We're gonna give you guys an in-depth walk around. So we're going to start in the back of the Mammoth. We have two full-size spare tires. These are 33-inch Nitto Ridge Grapplers with a 17-inch wheel. At the bottom, you'll see we've also got a 2-inch hitch receiver, which is super nice for recovering the Mammoth if you were to get it stuck. Uh, you've also got your ham radio antenna, as you can see there. There's a ham radio inside. We'll show you guys that when we get inside. Around the side of the Mammoth, you have these really cool molly panels here, which you can mount whatever accessories you'd like. We have a Rotopax mounted here just to show you what you could do with it, but really cool accessory. Um, over here, you've got these drop down steps. You could stand on the tire, stand on the step and get up on the roof. You've got another one right here. Do the same thing. You have rock sliders here. Um, and you also have a Rome awning, which is really cool. While we're on the side of the Mammoth, I wanna show you this vent here. It will make more sense once I open up the back panel, but I just wanted to mention that and uh, then I'll explain it to you once we open up the back. So you'll see here we have these big floodlights. These are an amber floodlight. They're really good for camp. They display a ton of light and you can really light up your campsite. We have these steel bash plates. Really, really nice if you're going into thick woods or anything and these are completely replaceable. Uh, since they are a wear item, it's really cool. You'll notice that we have our uh, solar panel wiring here. Uh, we have two solar panels up. The sun came out this morning, so um, we put our two solar panels up just to charge the batteries. Right here we have a um, actual, it's actually bear spray uh, that you can activate from inside the cabin. Uh, we have bear spray on both sides of the trip. Inside this box, there are four lithium batteries, an inverter, your charge controller, your fuse panel, a kill switch in case you needed to kill the power for whatever reason. And if you were to somehow drain all four of your lithium batteries, you've actually got a 2500 watt gas generator that comes standard with the Mammoth. If you were to fire that generator up, you have a shore power plug right here that you could plug it into, charge your Mammoth trailer. So with the Ellie trailer, it's actually really cool. You have a plumbed in propane tank here. Uh, and I'll show you when we open up the back panel, but the uh, stove back there is plumbed in all the time. You don't have to hook anything up. It's ready to go. Um, up here, you've got this really cool basket just for storing anything that you need. The Rome case here houses your Starlink antenna, which comes standard with the Mammoth. The other thing you'll notice on the outside of Ellie is you've got 360 degrees of night vision camera coverage. I'll show you on the inside of the cab, there is actually a monitor so you can monitor your live feed of your cameras, but it's really cool. You'll, you've got them on all four corners of the Ellie. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the kitchen area now. Uh, your dual spare tires are on swing outs. There's tons of features housed in the kitchen area. To start off, you have your wine rack here. You have a hot water heater here for your sink or if you want to take a hot shower. And over here, you've got a gauge showing how much your fresh water tank has left. You've got a 21 gallon fresh water tank under the Mammoth and it is heated. 
so it won't freeze. Open this up. All right, even though we're on uneven ground, there's a latch here that stops your kitchen from swinging closed. You've got a dual zone fridge freezer here. You've got a sink and you've got a two burner propane stove. This is what I was talking about. This is always plumbed from the propane tank up there. So this is ready to go whenever you need it. Over here you have a water filter. So one thing that's different about the Ellie is that you have storage here. Um, on the regular Mammoth HV trailer, this is a pass through. So you can pass through uh, things to people inside the trailer, maybe from the kitchen. Uh, but here you've got a sealed cab with the Ellie. And so there is no pass through. I'll talk about why the cab sealed in a little bit. Lots of storage here for different items. And you also have a cool storage bin on the side here. Another cool thing is that you have two lights here. You have one right here to light up your prep surface and you have one right here to light up your cook surface. So the first thing that you'll notice is the mattress in the Mammoth is massive uh, and it's really thick. It's an extremely comfortable mattress. There's also a ton of storage in this trailer. So you've also got this really cool multi-switch control panel. It's all labeled here. Uh, we've got these, the lighting inside the trailer right now, which is really cool. And it's adjustable right here. You've got a switch here. You can change the brightness of the light. You can change the color of the light and you can just uh, turn it off. But really cool lighting inside the trailer. You've also got rock lights on both sides of the trailer, which is really nice. And the floodlights that I was talking about on the outside, you can turn on from here. You have your water heater in here that you can activate. And you've also got your air filter that you can activate. That's what I was talking about, the vent on the outside of the Ellie. The uh, cab in here can have filtered air. You, this cab will hold a quarter PSI of positive pressure. So if you're in some sort of chemical environment or end of the world type event, you can have a pressure positive safe cab with safe breathing. Air. You have a radiation detector and a weather station. Underneath it, you have your camera system, which we'll turn that on and I'll show you in a minute. Inside the LA, you've got a 32 inch flat screen TV. You also have a Dometic air conditioning unit, which is really cool. You have your ham radio that we talked about. And you've also got the Dickinson propane fireplace, which is phenomenal. We've been using it this weekend up here in the Olympics. It's been down in the teens it's been really cold. And we, we were roasting last night. It was super hot. So really cool. Um, the storage in the LE is phenomenal though. We have boxes here that you could actually lock, which are really nice. And we have tons of storage for like clothes and shoes and boots or whatever you might have with nets. So when you're off-roading, none of your stuff is going to get scattered throughout the cap. It's really nice. The other really important thing is you've actually got a carbon monoxide uh, detector, which is fantastic with the propane heater. Even though the propane heater does have a fireplace, you shouldn't be getting any propane uh, in here. It's still nice to have the propane detector. You have lots of USB plugs on both sides of the cabin, and you also have 110 outlets, which is fantastic. Like I said, you have four 100 watt Renogy lithium batteries, so you have tons of power with the solar and the gas generator. You're not going to run out of battery. Above me, you've got a hatch so that you can either escape uh, through the roof or just go up onto the roof. There's an observation deck up there that you can sit on, um, hang out at. You could even put a chair up there and you know watch the sunset. On both sides of the cabin, you have your bear spray actuators here, which would activate the bear spray on the outside in case you've got some unwanted bears or people. You also have a rack up here for mounting your necessary tools. With the LE, there is also a drone mounted on the roof in a hard case that you could launch from the cab and get some surveillance going. The last thing I wanted to talk about while we're still in the cab is the insulation. The Mammoth skid plates are actually insulated, so you do have an insulated floor to insulate you from the cold ground.